The fucking Coca Cola is talking about buying one of those spots. Yeah. So, you know. 40% of the screen just all ads. Uh, it's good times. Um, yeah, anyways. Um, how's it going, man? This is going to be a lot loose format. Uh, anything. And it's not really even going to be a show. It's more of just a discussion with you guys. I apologize. Well, it's, still, it's, still, it's still a show. I don't want to. I don't want to not. Oh, well, let me open up my document of shit that I need to share. Uh, uh well, well, no, I just mean it's a it's a show within the show. It's it's the breaking the fourth wall element of of the show in a sense. Um, I still I still say we should put it out on the podcast feed because because there's going to be a lot of things that get talked about um, that is not just going to only involve the people who are here right now, not just me and you, but there are people who view this thing later a lot of the time so like i i would like it to also then in, involve them in the future and stuff like that so um god that thing is distracting but i'm gonna get into it so so this is kind of the thing um as many of you who are here know uh we we both very separately have been making these like big pushes to to like actually create content on the internet. It's crazy. Um, like Curly's been doing a lot with the stream, uh, doing doing way more with the streams and 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 things like that. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff, and then we went to Vegas and we had a lot of fun and. Um, it was just it, it just always is kind of this reinvigoration of of our creative whatever when we hang out that it's just like oh man we like this and that and this and that and this and that like there's all these things um, and either we never do them or they never just quite live up to what we want them to be and there's just there's, I don't know just a lot always happens um, so one of the big things for me specifically was uh this podcast has kind of been the same for a very long time which isn't bad necessarily but it also after a while it gets to you um (laughs) (laughs) because it, it it's just it just gets hard I can tell you on my on my aspect, one of the things that has I've liked and been able to do about it is that it has been static, as in it doesn't. Yeah. It's allowed me to be the procrastinator that I be when I get to a point at uh, sometimes in my life where I just I just I'm, I I don't put as much effort as I can into things, and it's worked for me on some aspects where it's been something we don't put a lot of effort into as much as we could and should uh, be in for it. And it's, but it's still been responsive. And I think there's good things. There's good things here. Um, then, and, and, but there are other things we could do a lot better or different uh, with just a little bit of effort or, or even just it would make it so the effort didn't seem like so much effort, um, mm-hmm. which is, I think the, the goal um, when it comes down to it. Uh, I mean, we put enough effort into it that the effort became effortless, right? So it was like you you create a formula and you do that formula. And and that's yeah. fine. That's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I would like to continue to a certain yeah. extent. Um because cuz like it, it could have been this for Hold the on, past. Sun, Sunbud's talking like he's dead though. That's the thing. That's <laughs> that's not that's not the case. Like <laughs> just the way he's speaking about it it's like it's you know well, see the thing with the so so yeah like the thing with the game show right the game show was i think for me on my part more effort than my brain was was capable of um like that that level of production for that thing was just not where we were at at the moment and it's sad because I think in in most other people's hands that would have just been an end all be all project that people would have just poured everything into that. And it's well, just really <laughs> scary and rough and hard. 
So, um, I, as in a background thing, when you brought this up in, the, in regards to that you, you wanted to change the format around, um, it's something that I've I've wanted to look into, but I'm all, uh, there's, a, there's a part of me that's also scared to rock the boat for a lot of things uh, in regards yeah. to something that's working, but I can guarantee if you... If, if you I wanted to peel back the veil in regards to what actually... Uh, numbers wise and whatnot um it's definitely stagnant i mean it's it's one of the more popular things we do for sure um but looking at the stat wise it's a flat line so it's it's it, mm-hmm. i feel like it's hit it's hit the audience and it's going to hit um and it needs a retooling i mean any 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 successful media making content creator person that you see out there would would have done something around you know episode 20 <laughs> and change things around but we were happy with the, what it was doing and uh and it was easy to continue doing it without um losing our damn minds um mm-hmm. but i feel like we've tapped a lot of what that is uh w- i think what the, some of the w- what mainly i wanted to talk about here was what what is good to go forward with and what we could do um that 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 would everyone would be happy with and whatnot um i i yeah. i can tell you what i get out of the show and, and what i think resonates with people is that um, like a lot of the things that I try to do on the channel, um, I'm basically making something I wanted. Um, I, 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 I like, I like having, uh, just a, just a backlog of, of funny mental stories and shit to, to talk to people about in, in life. Uh, I, it's one of the things I used to do when dig became a thing and no one else knew what dig was. Like I used to go to dig and find funny stories that the internet would curate for me. And then it'd be like, oh, I'd have talking topics for my girlfriend and I to talk about or whatever. And I could act like I'm a really cool fucking funny guy that found all these funny things on the internet. Um, so I, I liked that aspect of it. And, and the trouble is there's no place that aggregates that. One of my favorite, I, and I always bring it up, one of my favorite radio shows that I have out here uh, every morning, one, some of the things they do is they just bring up funny shit that they've read about on the internet. And I, 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 there's, I find myself times like just writing stuff down. I'm like, oh, that'd be hilarious to tell somebody like blah, blah, blah. Um, I think I think that's cool. I think that's that's one of the things that I like about the show, bringing up the stories. Um, the reason we did it as a four person podcast in the first place was that um, that's just what you do, <laughs> I guess. Right? Like, what is it? Uh, I don't even know how we really ended up on the format that we did. We wanted so, a, a game discussion. I, 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 at the I can beginning. actually tell you that um, we it was me, you. Uh, it, it was me and you, and, and we were actually talking about doing two separate projects. You were talking about doing a additive to the 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 stream of like a four person sit down thing um and i wanted to do a rotating head podcast of all the people that we knew at the time who made internet content um and and this was like super before we were like super locked into doing a lot of stuff together um and then I think like T two, I think or somebody, originally or I think I wanted like a genuinely serious discussion show, um, yeah, which I kind of still do, but I also don't. I don't know if I have the audience for that, to be honest. But you know, maybe you get that yeah. audience with something else. <laughs> I don't know if I have the the chops to be able to do like a serious discussion show. I, I don't even know if I can. But um, I uh, you'd be surprised. I remember the lot of stuff that in my head mentally that I was saving because I remember the ga- we 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 added the game stuff later, not since the beginning, yeah. uh, and yeah. that was just because we needed uh, not needed, but there was a lot of stuff that I had in my head that I wanted from the other thing that I always like on the internet is just genuine uh, random trivia shit that you can you know oh I didn't know that fucking the this snake does this or looks like that or whatever you know like just like stupid trivia shit. That doesn't have any actual real meaning or point value, so I uh, I added that to the show and uh, and that hit as well. That hit that hit pretty pretty good. Um. Um. But I guess so. What the 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 thing I would probably say is what's not working for you guys at this point, right? Like so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I've kind of collected <laughs> in my in my time. Of doing this show, and and some of you motherfuckers in the audience, don't don't you dare, because some of you are the ones who said, have said shit like this to me. Um, is doing the four person, two people locked in, two people constantly rotating thing means we have to we have to chase people in a sense a little bit, right? We're not big enough that that everybody wants to come to us to do things. Um, 
sometimes people do, sometimes people don't. Sometimes people understand what we're doing. Some pe- times people don't. Like when we when we kind of originally started like really really pushing like hey let's get this person let's get that person let's get this person and we got some of them but truthfully some of those are our worst episodes right because like we like made that big push oh let's get other twitch streamers and not every twitch streamer knows what the podcast is or like or that thing right like a lot of them are very much charismatic people who you you turn the camera on they do their thing and then you know that that's not it but like that's kind of how they are right so living in a format of like hey we're gonna go super hard for an hour um do some bits do some of this some of that some of it has some theory to it some of it doesn't some of it's kind of coming off the cuff um and it's just gonna go different places there there are very much very very specifically in the history pointed out to me episodes where they're like man that that episode would have been great if that person didn't just sit there and stare at their webcam for that hour (laughs) like um and then sometimes it's just it's just the burnout of spending two weeks trying to get somebody to come on the show and then Saturday they're like, oh, can't make it. Mm-hmm. And then that kind of just that that kind of deflates the whole thing when yeah. we when we really go through it. Um and then and then there are times <clears> like in, there, adi- there in addition it, it adds a layer of, of additional stress setting up. Yeah. And we, you and you and me are always we're always one bad feeling away from fucking canceling the week. <laughs> and, yeah. like, there's all, all it takes, man. All it takes is to step on one Lego, and and we're just fucking. I don't feel like it anymore. I'm gonna go lay on my face. Yeah. Like, and, and, and you know, you know what? Like, you like MacBook Pro just said, like you two have great chemistry. Two other personalities can be hit or miss. Yeah, there's that. But there are legit. There have been legitimately times where I was like, fuck. I wish we didn't have to have two other people because yeah. I'd love to just shit talk with Curly for an hour. So here, here's the, that. So so then like, so then so then going forward, um, there, there there that's the two options at this point, right? Like not really two options, but in my head, uh, so what I could come up with in my head is, we we can we can retool the show. I mean, can we retool the show? I, th- I think I think I can, but yeah, to be just centered on us, just two people, and how does that look? And we can discuss that, or or it can be a fast and loose. Sometimes we can pop a person in. Sometimes we can pop in a person if we really want to and just bring it into the mix. Um, obviously, that would take pre-planning and Skype stuff. But as you just noticed, I, it only took me fucking 15 minutes to build a working scene, if you will call this a working scene. So, so I would <laughs> love to build layers, right? Uh-huh. I would love to say, you know what? Like, like I, I would love to almost format it as like, let's always say as as consistently as we can be at least we'll be here yeah. at least we'll do something at least we'll talk to the audience at least we'll riff at least we'll do that at least that shit will happen and then when there are people that we we not not to say that people we have had on we don't want to have on but we like are super fucking like oh shit like we can have these people on i want to have these people on like yeah like when we like there are times where where you know, as, as a specific, where we're just like, Sam's working on something. Yeah. We want to have Sam. Oh, shit. We have to also have some. Who else can we? Well, um, so from, from, from you know. yeah, exactly that. That to add it to right. who, who are you going to pair with Sam and the personality? Right. Not not like, only not only the personality, but two, just... he's got something big to share and bringing on someone that may not not to necessarily take offense, but just it just doesn't it doesn't work well when you're just like, I can't just bring in anybody. I mean, you could, but. Yeah, if Sam's gonna be here and he's a great personality and he clicks well with us, and then we bring in Chuckle Fuck Number Four just to fill the square, and they've got nothing to share, they don't, you know, click, <laughs> they don't understand the clicking. And and on Sun Bun though, uh, what you're saying is looking at the other TMS on Frog Pants and seeing how many times they retool things. Um, I don't know. To me, I I agree I, and I understand that. I don't I don't think I'm um I'm not coming at this pro- this where this discussion right now trying to like be so dramatic about it like i, I think retooling is a good thing and i, no, and I yeah, agree not, with it yeah not, 
Yeah, it's not about being dramatic. It's just legitimately. Like, so, so I don't. I don't feel like something's was, failed. I just feel like there's. We can definitely do better stuff right now. Um, yeah, I just felt like we were kind of burnt out on the format that we had. So, in, um, in addition to what you were saying, in two as well, is is there there are times that we can we have in or have been in the process of getting, um, say, a big heavy hitter guest, and you run into the other issue is sometimes I just don't have content that I want to pair with that guest because the internet's mm -hmm. funny things just weren't there are sometimes we're like th there's just some great stories and and stories that i know that will hit well with a guest but we just don't have that guest that week and i'm like do i fucking save the story do i fucking like like when you know I, or, or and the guest comes on and i'm like there's nothing funny on the fucking internet right now and so we're gonna have this chuckle episode where we just talk about tragedy shit there's there's fucking times with domestic dad where i'm like there's there's literally nothing but kids dying uh, all over the fucking internet. That's it. That's the only shit that's on the internet, and none of it's fucking really funny. It's a small tragedy, lovers, and I don't know how to make that funny, but whatever. Like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and like, like even that, right? Could could be different. How how we how we have guests on? I would I would like to be like, man. you know what? I got some great things that I want to talk about. I got some great things I want to say, and it'd be great if we brought in Sam or we brought in whatever, and so we could do that that way. And I could just yeah. I just have I, the I, I could have the scenes ready because. As long as Skype doesn't keep fucking retooling itself constantly, I'm fine with <laughs> fucking doing um, it. Yeah, and and like like I, I don't want anybody to to take it as like oh my god, like no, so my. dramatic. It's no, it's like we, we've we've been like the past couple of months. I've been watching Curly fucking kill his creative process. Like he's just been like, I want to do this on the stream. I want to do that on the stream. I'm going to do this. Fucking knock this out today. Fucking uh, woke up with a hair up my ass. Fucking <laughs> decided to fucking <laughs> redo this whole thing um, involving the stream. And then like even, even for myself, I'm feeling a lot more of my creative like bullshit, like doing doing good. And then like we come to this and it just feels like, oh, yeah, that fuck that room <laughs> like like uh, we we rebuilt the whole house and somehow forgot the bathroom <laughs> so yeah I, I i get i get that i get that i understand that and i think that's a good thing to be be vocal about because yeah that that that's gonna kill the creative process if that's the way the the feelings are um yeah. not only is it good to refresh the show but it's good for our own souls to refresh the the stuff so that it doesn't feel like a slog at all this fucking Steve, um, Steve, your your one bit is not is not landing right now, dude. You gotta you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta retool that joke. Um, and I don't know. I just I I, I think a, a lot of what happened too was like someone brought up like the the other non TMS frog pants, whatever. Like people who do uh, creative content, and 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 once again, this is not a disparaging comment. This is just how I talk. Um, I, I I no longer give a fuck about what other people are doing. I just want to do the shit that we think is cool. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, that's what and, always and has it, worked. That's always what's worked in regards yeah, to the show. And, Every time I try to chase and, a fucking a, a, a handshake in a dream, uh, it, it never works out. Every time I'm just like, you know what? Fucking this is this is what I want to see on the damn internet, uh, and I'm gonna make it. You're gonna make what you want, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so then, I mean, so on that note then then going forward wise, like how would you perceive a show that is just us? I mean, I, I still, again, I love the concept of funny internet stories and, uh, no, no, no. I love that. I love the funny internet stories. I would love, uh, and with, with the chat's help, maybe not, not right here, right now, but mm -hmm. over time, um, like fucking like drop a shit. I, I want to kind of almost harness those little moments when we're like when when we're we're playing games or, or doing other like the kind of the shit we talked about in, in the initiation of this show in the first place right mm -hmm. like those i i'd love to still have our a block be the way it is where it's opening video mm -hmm. kind of just fun little riffs I, I love kind of all the other stuff that we have around the show i love i love the bumpers i love the openers i love all that stuff and and even though I just said not not to pay attention to other people's shit, like well, when, we've, we've only we got the one like, recording of the bumpers, so we're, and we're not we're not asking yeah. Big Voice Jay to put any more work into it. Um, so, speaking of, so we we got to make those those bits fit somehow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This guy. Um, <laughs> well, so 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 I what I was what I what, what I was throwing out uh, in my head um, 
is is tool tool the new stuff more in in how we kind of already do it almost, but just sans the guest where I I, I like I like when we try to get competitive on who's got a better story like. Yeah. The, the 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 concept of just throwing it out be like yo fucking now this is the best fucking you know florida man story of the week <laughs> kind of thing versus like what you bring to the table and then we keep it secret or whatever we can even do it we can even do like you know and i don't know if this is easy on your end but like who's got a better cold open video and, and we can just play two and let the chat fucking decide who wins each episode mm-hmm. kind of thing <clears throat> i yeah. think that'd be cool and i I, I like shit like that like i like shit like that i love that i love i and i i would love to have more puzzle pieces for the show or you know what i mean and and and, and by that i just mean more bits that hey <sighs> no guests this week so it's it's just the us us week so yeah we do the competing opening video we do the competing mm-hmm. news stories um and then we get to the b block and and we have this list of shit we like hey what do you guys want to see this week you want to see us do that bit this bit that bit you know like we have these other little things we can throw in here that one are are effortless right like i i don't i don't it just doesn't need to be a high ass production well, of shit what right? worries me about that is the, is this the creation of that because that's adding a layer of 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 pre-production value yeah, of yeah, creating yeah. creating the b block then at that point and, and, um, and i don't know i don't know how i don't know how you feel about this but but puck was talking about doing the you know the a block and then and then bringing on the guests i'm not sure if i've ever enjoyed a show that has a guest that sits in the in the wings waiting to be involved and i know i I, I, and maybe that's just the way it works, but like I, I, I don't know how to explain to a guest like, well, there's gonna be ten minutes of uh, shenanigans, and then you can uh, then you can pipe up when we introduce you, kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, not to mention, I don't have, like, I can make scenes for that shit, but I don't know, you know. Um. But yeah. So I, I. So in my head so far, what I had is like format wise, I would love to just be able to do one guest, two guests, red red guest, blue guest, yeah. like. Um, because I, I would b, 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 b end wise, like you saw the some of the stuff that I had I had been experimenting with with uh some of the games that were more you know all three guests working together and stuff. I've got, I've got other yeah. plans for styles of trivia stuff that is way beyond what uh uh NPR's silly little articles and stuff are doing. But like some of the audio stuff and stuff could be fun and a lot of um a lot of maybe you know there there are a lot of like. There, there are a lot of uh, things that I wanted to do that were that would that would I, that I always uh, jo- joyfully in my head nicknamed uh, Kaz versus the audience, um, but I could never make that work with two other guests, and so I never I never brought them up. But yeah. I have I have so a that, bunch of Kaz versus the audience bits on that on my uh, end right was where I thought about we talked about it a long time ago and we we. Le- logistically couldn't figure out a way to do it and now there is a way to do it um where we have we now have the discord right which is a great little tool to we could we could preload um we could preload almost like a voice guest right like like a call-in kind of thing right where like we we could do that shit that we've always wanted to do we could do a call-in show which at that point has no um no the fuck is the word i'm looking for <laughs> like no high production yes value right so that because i really i have it's, it's, we've you've talked about this and you're saying we talked about this i've always wanted to to have more more chat slash guest not, not guest but chat uh interactive stuff with with especially with the call and stuff um but that just the the trouble with the two, having the two guests here and doing that is it ends up being like that the the, the call in could go so wrong, but if it's just you and me, Kaz, we yeah. can handle that fire no matter what, no matter what the fuck comes yeah. along that way. But with two other guests here, it would be like, what are we, what are we doing? Who, why, <laughs> why, why, why did that just happen? Like, what, what's going on? Right. Yeah. Right. And 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 then you create, and then that creates its own bit, right? Where it's like, okay, like fucking pop in. We'll pick somebody. Like you get you know whatever that that bit that we've created is it's like that and like you said then we we can handle a trash fire we can handle somebody being a legitimate trash fire like and then being like and hang up all right well there was that you know like um 
and and I I love that kind of shit. I love like we we do that shit now randomly, and it's some of the funniest shit we've ever fucking done. Like yeah, Gabby's saying we could um, flip it in reverse and have a guest come in the beginning and then come out. The thing is that we have had discussions with some guests that couldn't be on just because they couldn't do the whole show, and yeah. leaving it more open where the the as as Kaz was saying the baseline of the show is us no matter what it's going to be us doing some shit and if we have a bonus guest that that we think for that reason will vibe with what we're doing that week then we can play that but what you can guarantee because i I, th- I still think it's i still think i mean fast and loose is important uh in fun but at the same time i think one of the reasons why this show has managed to work even if it's a bad show we do a week is that consistency is important so being there at the same time and stuff i mean you guys are here and I go live all throughout the week, and this is still where people show up because this is the time slot, and this is where you know that something's going to be here. So, making sure that uh, we do that. So, big of a say is it's I don't I I can't think of one. Uh, we've done it's, three. It's all, at the, we've, at the least. we've only done three when someone's just internet pooped out halfway through. It's never been a plan to do three. Like. Yeah, or just couldn't <laughs> just couldn't show up. Like yeah. literally at the very last minute, they were like, "Oh, I'm in Kalamazoo." Like, and, hey, you're hey, like, hey. and mainly that reason is 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 on top of the fact that I just had built all of the the production stuff out of a four block set and like. Skype looks like a turd shit in the fan if someone leaves or moves their fucking camera around or whatever. Um, but whatever. But but that's all that's all the stuff I can fix and manage if 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 I have pre you know pre planning for stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, there was that one time yeah. we had six guests because Gabby was on the couch with Roxy and I had them in the corner because <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what to do with it because <laughs> we already had guests. But, you know. I mean, I like all that stuff. I like, I enjoy all that stuff. I don't think that stuff is bad. I just, I just want to create a better foundation of, of yeah. the podcast that, that people are like, well, you can always expect. And then the great things are yeah. the other shit. You know what I mean? So I, I think, I don't know if this is being missed out here, but I think a lot of, a lot of importance uh, that we're trying to shoot for is, is, as I, as I said, as I mentioned before, we're always one bad mood away from not doing the show. And uh, that's not to say that that's necessarily okay, but that's the fact. And we've yeah. do done enough of these to know that that's a fact. Like, you can, I can sit here and tell you, like, nah, I'll totally fucking power through whatever. But there are times that when it comes down to it, that's not where my mental state is. And my whole life is, is, a, is a process of learning routines that make sure that that doesn't become detrimental to productivity. Like that's how I still go to work every day, or when I do work. Um, I can I can legitimately tell you if there if there if if before the the ones where I dropped out on it, if I if I would have been like, you know what, it's just gonna be me and Curly, yeah, and nothing else. I'll fucking yeah. I'll tragedy lever all over this shit. So 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 you know the, I, mean? the, the, <laughs> I think that's the important thing is that is that if we get a baseline, that means when we are at if if, if worst case scenario, we are both at our worst. It doesn't mean that the show doesn't happen. It means that the show goes on in a low key way, and yeah. we can make that happen. And to make sure that that is a that's an acceptable like pretense that we can go with. And then, and then days when we're on and, and fucking feeling it, we can fucking pull out all the damn nines and fucking have a you know, shots from the moon and shit like whatever. <laughs> um. Yeah, I just I just I wanna I wanna shoot obviously for more consistent consistency. Yeah. Um. I gotta tell you and numbers too. Numbers are. Num- I know. I know that no one really cares, and you don't really care for the numbers. But like, no, I do. I do. I do. Uh, I. You can tell. You miss a week, and uh, no matter how cool the next week is, it's always. Uh, it's always a rebuild process uh, for mm-hmm. for whatever trajectory we're on. Yeah. So so that that's the other thing, right? Is 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 that's that other thing that I'm talking about, right? Like I I have been way more aware of myself. Singular, singularly, I guess is the word, um, as a content creator on the internet in the past three months, um, and I'm 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 so gung ho on like fucking all right, I gotta get I gotta fucking uh, 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 you know keep keep the grind, and I lo- I'm fucking loving it right now, um, 
and I've been seeing you do the same. You're like, you're like, all right, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to show up. I'm going to stream this tomorrow uh, for fucking two and a half hours. And then I'm going to switch to this for three hours, maybe. And then the rest I'll just fucking fast and loose, you know? And it, and it's been great for you. And I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm loving that shit. So, and then I, I will also say having, doing a podcast doing other podcasts and very specifically the sports one i do with jvz and having jvz's drive of like oh let's try this and this and that and this and like even the other day we talked about adding all this other um value to this podcast that we're doing and i was just like man me and curly have not had one of those discussions in a very long time yeah. <laughs> um about just adding more value to the to the podcast like i don't know i just i would like i would like to see us do that um i would also like fuck um all the, all the times where we talk about recording things for youtube um you know like one this is thing this is not something that is is just meant to be live i also want to focus on making it a better audio product because it's a podcast um so i want to i want to start being more aware of of what our content is and what our content's doing and i'm making a lot of hand gestures which is why my camera is positioned the way it is so you don't see all this shit. <laughs> so i'm trying to be way more aware of all of those things um, I want to make it a very stronger audio podcast. Um, I want to make it um, visually. I'm fine with it. I, I like the things that the people who have created shit for us have done. Um, and and there are days where I'm like, man, I wish they would created that for somebody better. <laughs> uh, uh, and so I, that that's just definitely what I want. Like I want to I want to fucking kill it. I want to fucking hit better strides with all of this stuff um and just be m more aware of ourselves yeah no we can definitely do that and I'm, what we're doing and i'm down for that um i uh i mean i i know what i need to work on at this point now so uh you know we could wise fucking how how last night we we had a great little moment of talking about what's love got to do with it like we can we can fill people in on that and we bring can't, that we fucking... can't have a we can't have a tina and ike fucking cut the set no some of us might want to be a fucking uh i don't know on a pta at some point in our lives and uh, <laughs> uh it's good times um, um but yeah, no, I just, I just need, I, I mean, one, I need, I'm gonna need more scenes to do this, and yeah, then yeah. a third and whatnot, and a fourth possibly, whenever that may occur. Um, and, and, you know, not, not, not to fucking speak for anybody else's shit. I think that would be easily acquired um, oh, yeah. from friends who have done that for us in the past with a, with a, a jaunty hello. Um, <laughs> word, you know. Um, but yeah, so I like, that's just more shit I want to do. Like, like I, I even thought about, and, and maybe this is a wait and see, uh, doing those moments of playing something in this slot that is, you know, still podcast formatted, but very specifically with the intent that it's recorded and then it's something we could definitely throw up on YouTube. And then also it's, it's value for the live stream. What do you mean? I mean, uh, like when we talked about doing uh, to catch a lover or to catch a to catch a. You want to do a, that in a, in a, this a, slot kind of thing? Is it? I, I'm saying I'm saying it's open. <clears throat> we could try it, see how it feels, see how it works, see yeah. if it doesn't. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like we don't we don't need to to try to then do things that wouldn't fit us right like i still i still to want whelp to be time. maintained by at the very least news stories and, yeah and yeah. then maybe something else if we're gonna do something drastically different like a game thing then i think that should be something else we can do a game thing as a as a block but i don't know if it would just be like hey today for the podcast kaz and i are playing a video game because we can do that anywhere anytime we can do, no, we can that's why that. I said it. That's why I said it's a it's, it's a thought. It's a working. Yeah, we can do that after. We can do it beforehand. Moss. 
Yeah, that's a separate thing, though, Big Vice J. I, that's something I, I just I, I I need to get off my ass and do, uh, to be completely honest. The D&D project. Uh, I think that would be a fun... Uh, or I, I know that would be a fun thing. Um, I just have to do it. <laughs> and that's a whole separate project, though, and, and completely. Um, I won't force Kaz to play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, yeah, what about what, <laughs> watching skateboard videos for five hours? But we need, let's, let's go. Ahead, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Till three in the goddamn morning. Um, but yeah, I'll bring I'll bring some skate fails. Fucking. You play D and D Wolfgang? Yeah, no, I mean that's so. that's 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 what I I do want to do. That I just haven't decided on how to do the format and how to. I, I I don't even know. I don't. There's a lot of there's a lot of caveats to making the D and D thing work in regards to yeah. just simply uh, who's gonna who's gonna be on it and how how do I want to handle that? Because no matter what, there's gonna be a ton of people that feel slighted that they don't get in it. Uh, or do I do a rotating thing and how would I make that work within the mythos? Uh, or what tools to use and whatnot to make it still audio friendly and whatnot. Yeah, right, the MT and we don't need a new, we don't need an actual video game for for D and D. D and D's got plenty, plenty, plenty to do with itself. Um, now, Wolfgang, I'll make you into a fucking, I'll make you into a wizard. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you don't get to play what you want to play. Um. So I have a video. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, but I was going to open up uh, an episode with this, so I just thought I'd share it um, while we're here. I don't even know how to... <clears throat> Can I get my web window in this? Probably. You should be able to. No, I mean, I have an actual scene called web window that I'm going to import into this. Uh, oh. Yeah, that'll do. Cover the chat for a hot minute. This is very quick. I don't know if you've seen this. Yo, this is a message for the so-called Stratford soldiers from the E-19 Posse. We heard you've been stepping on our turf. Try it again and you will get smoked, fam. Hey, E-19 Pussies, look where we are. We're in your postcode and I don't see you doing nothing about it. Maybe because you're too stupid to actually read the street signs, innit? Message over. Firstly, you pulled some bold moves coming on our turf. Secondly, Come what on, you said about us... Can you pause it for a second? It's actually pretty offensive, fam. So, so buddy. So, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> so the other the other night, right? And this is before the skateboard night. Um, I went down this YouTube rabbit hole of of kind of very specifically this this meme, but in the real format of like of like the the gangbanger rappers responding to each other in like Instagram videos mm -hmm. <laughs> cuz like I was watching I was watching um for those who don't know uh J Cole who's a very lovely rapper uh put out a song and everybody was like oh shit he's he's dissing he's dissing you know these these new wave rappers or whatever and one of them was just like in an Instagram video and he was like Yo, he's stupid. You know, he fucking out here trying to be all lyrical. Man, fuck that shit. Making fun of 17-year-olds. He dumb. And I was just like, is, th is that how we respond in rap beefs now? You just you fucking make an Instagram video? And then, you know, it, as YouTube does, it's like, hey, you want to watch fucking 30 of those? <laughs> so I was like, absolutely. Yeah, all right. Fuck yeah, YouTube, <laughs> let's go. And it's just like video after video of like, yo, you can't do shows in L.A. anymore because I said so. And then the other person like, motherfucker, I'm doing a show in L.A. tonight. Uh, you could get your tickets in the link in my Instagram. <laughs> like, like, what? That's where we're at. Like, is, this, is this how this is gone? Let the video play, Kaz. You're ruining it for me. We heard you've been stepping on our turf. Try it again and you will get smoked, fam. Hey, E-19 pussies, look where we are. We're in your postcode, and I don't see you doing nothing about it. Maybe because you're too stupid to actually read the street signs, innit? Message over. Firstly, you pulled some bold moves coming on our turf. Secondly, what you said about us not being able to read, that's actually pretty offensive, fam. Yeah, because our man, them Darren, has got dyslexia, and it's been holding him back at school for a while now. So don't say it again. Yeah, we didn't actually know about Darren's dyslexia. 
But that's obviously not great, and we wish him all the best with his daily struggles. And we weren't going to mention this year, but our boy Jake here, raise your hand, Jake. His mum's in a wheelchair, and he's actually been a carer since he was 12 years old. So you accusing him of not being sensitive to disability issues is actually quite upsetting. Look, no lies. We just want to say we had no idea about Jake's mum being in a wheelchair. I've actually got a bunch of pamphlets here about dealing with difficult issues in your personal life. They've got bare information in them. I know we said you can't come on our turf, but I'm going to leave them on the side of Rednock Road and Sutton Street. So if you do want to come and take a look, that would be cool, fam. We got your pamphlets, yeah? And we left you a lemon sponge cake there by way of a thank you. Stratford soldiers, where did you man get that sponge cake? It was bare moist and light. In that imposter, you're not going to believe this, yeah? But I actually baked it myself. I'll tell you the secret of my moist lemon sponge, but then I have to probably kill you. Message over. So you're threatening to kill us now? Is it? Listen, fuck your recipe. Bring your cake to the wall, man. Your cake was dead. You know like Mr. Kipling. That comes on. <laughs> Thought you'd enjoy that. A little long. Yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> Like literally, that was that was every fucking thing I watched the other day. It's just like sponge cake see, was moist, we, man. We fucking fighting. <laughs> it's just like, what happened? What that's, happened? That's how you deal with beef. That's how you deal with beef. What happened to making a diss track? Like, <laughs> can we just make? Can you make music? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> Fuck. That's how, real, that's how real boys deal with it these days. Real. <laughs> Just gotta make your post on Instagram, man. <laughs> God damn, I hate. Oh, oh, I sound so old. I just you hate these kids, man. Stop. I don't know Stop. what it's like being being living living on the streets, being being rough gangsters. <laughs> but uh, if you really get that recipe for that sponge cake, though, man. What the fuck is sponge cake? Just, I don't know. Fuck. It's a cake. <laughs> I don't eat cake. <laughs> Where's my music? Because, like, I don't know. Just, uh, fucking, like. I, oh, shit. Have you seen those, like, uh, the fucking, like, stupid British break shows and shit? Like, oh. you, you would think you could only bake so many types of cakes, but obviously not. And it's just. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, thank you, Pup. <laughs> there you go. Now you know. All right, next episode, uh, Kaz bakes a sponge cake, and we all taste it, and we see what's up. Fuck no, bro. Oh, it's just like, okay, it's just supposed to be like a softer, rounder fucking piece of shit. But yeah, so um, uh, outside of burning all of the stories that I have uh, queued up from, uh, yeah. from past episodes, um. Yeah, uh, guys, look forward to more of uh, more more chilled episodes slash at least more consistent and whatnot. Um, more consistent, more chat involved, more better, better, better. Uh, I I I feel like not striving for a guest every week um, yeah. until until it would until it becomes something where people seek the formatting of it and understand it. Well, no, not everyone needs to understand it. I think sometimes there are the really good moments of having people on who don't understand it. And that's great. It's, it's, uh, it's until we decide it fits for that day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I'm very, 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 very high up on the, <laughs> the not having to constantly have, two other people anymore thing that like that's one of my biggest things yeah. that, that and i can make that happen i can make that happen we can uh, do i think is the thing um i definitely want to always involve you guys <laughs> um because you know without you guys we, we we're just you know not really doing anything yeah so so there's, there's always that the notes, just, the, just, no, the notes that I'm taking at this better. point is I'm gonna I'm gonna retool scenes and whatnot. Maybe uh, ask the collective for some help on that, of course. Um, and uh, then I will have them ready to go. Um, I'll probably actually get some of you guys to do some some test calls because the only way to test Skype is to have real fucking calls going. Uh, and get that all done and get the ability to call in and stuff and then come up with some bits and stuff because I uh, I know I have a bunch of documents uh, on my own that uh docs files whatever 
uh, that uh, I've abandoned because of just they didn't fit the format that I would like to re mm -hmm. uh, readdress and see if I can make them happen or whatever. Big Wish J, I love you. You're such I, a treasure, I, I, man. I will, I will, and, I will and, come and to and you. And this is this takes way too much for forethought, right? But I would also like because of how much we 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 praise ourselves on the whole ability to rift and do things and shit like that i would love even even if like we had a segment that is a segment solely based around give us a bit right like like give us a bit we'll fucking we'll run it through its paces right here right now and then we'll fucking judge you like, based on what you gave us to play out. Like, who, who was saying earlier that they were they would be more excited to see uh, us being guests on our own show, where we someone brought us new stories and then we react to them and whatnot? <laughs> that be, but that that yeah. puts weight. That, like, would, that, that uh, could be. I that think could be that, part of that it, Discord call in thing. I mean, yeah. I mean, shit. Uh, at that point, um, there are a lot of. Uh, of radio bits I've I've wanted to steal over the years where uh, it involved you know uh, bringing in a bringing in one guest person and and that doesn't have to be a, as a as a call in guest it just it literally is like a all right we're gonna have someone call from the chat boom you're in for your whatever you say and then you're out like <laughs> you, get, mm -hmm. you get your yeah, in no, and you that's get like your out. that that's legitimately what I meant like yeah like we create a channel in the Discord and and people could could. We, we create a, a waiting room and a live room, right? Like a, a live live caller. Um, and, and then you could just be like, all right, pull you down. All right, you got fucking give it, give us the deets, you know, <laughs> like give us your news story this week. And they, they tell us something and we're just like, God, you're fucking, you're a horrible person. No, bye. <laughs> like, or in the know, retro, or, uh, or you did a great yeah. job. Uh, here's a Steam game code. <laughs> yeah, because we, we have a shit ton of those. So. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> it would be it would be fun. I would honestly like the, like having having uh, having full faith in having a guest run something uh, or a, or a call in guest do something is 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 good. And I think we'll definitely tool that. But um, I'm aware though, and I think you guys should be aware of how much that does put the trust in the chat. And sometimes sometimes y'all not there on the uh <laughs> look at our dead ass email segment yeah uh i've been inviting people to write emails in for years and some of you are on point let me get uh, i won't i won't deny that but sometimes y'all got nothing and that's okay uh, we're here that we're supposed to be the ones making the content and i'm i'm aware of that i don't want to i don't want to screw that dynamic up too much because that point then you're just uh i want to involve everyone but i don't also want to put the burden of the show on 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 chat and then then you end up doing what some people that I cannot stand do where they sit there and they're like, God damn it, chat. You're just not really bringing it today. I'm really depressed with you guys. I think you failed, uh, man. If you wanted a better show, you, I mean, I guess, but why am I even here? What are you doing? Chat? Yeah. Come on. Like, and, and I never want to berate the chat for not being uh, part of the content. You know, that's just a yeah, bonus. I, 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 I definitely want everything to feel like it's fun, right? Yeah. I still want it to feel like it's fun. I still want it to feel like it's, it's interesting and it, it's worth being here for but i, I very much I, I very much want to lean into some of the shit that me and curly are just better at me and curly are very much better at at flying off the cuff and yeah. and, and dealing with what is given to us you know from under a blanket like well that's that's and, our that, and that, kind of rolling with it that's our, our 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 worst fears which always manifest themselves is uh is uh, when we hit gold and we capture lightning in a bottle when we're not live, and we're like, "Fuck it, why aren't we live?" Like this would be yeah. such a great moment, uh, but sometimes that happens, you know. And uh, it'd be the idea is to is to is to forward push uh, more option or more opportunities for that to manifest itself, um, so we can do that. Uh, I just I, my breath stinks. I just realized that really is really. <laughs> There's, <laughs> I don't know what it was. I just got a whiff of my own fucking my breath, and I just almost passed out. I, uh, <laughs> it fucking... just took it took everything out of my head for a hot moment. Like, yeah. I don't even know what yeah. I ate. I, oh, I had, I had popcorn and fucking a burrito. What the fuck? Right, doesn't matter. 
Doesn't matter. I know I showered. I showered like four hours ago. It's great. I'm, I'm super clean. Uh, I just I ate some nasty ass fucking microwave burrito. And yeah. <laughs> All right. So the fucking Seven <laughs> Eleven fucking <laughs> been in there for fucking eighteen years. Fucking thing. <laughs> Um, Can I say, that's one of my favorite things to roll the dice with in life, is just to walk into a 7-Eleven and, and look at their food selection and be like, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> well, Because you, you, know, you, know, you know one of those is going to give someone food poisoning. And you're yeah. like, do I, am I rolling the dice today? I mean, that's a 10% chance, and I'm not going to die from it. But there's plenty of times where I'm like, why am I throwing up right now? So, 7-Eleven sandwich. Right. <laughs> Got it. Found it. So right now in this moment, Sunbun, I think the plan is visually um, to get to get the scenes that we need. Um, uh, once we have that, two next week, come back with a very well crafted, constructed, whatever. We'll talk about if we want to have a guest. If we don't, if we want to just try that very first trial run yeah. of just being curly. Um, what no. do you think we do? We'll, what I'm, we'll I'm going to do is, but... is for the next podcast, we'll uh, let's 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 just plan this. We're gonna we're gonna have it a two person. Um, yeah. Well, well, before we talk about that, um, I, and and I know my answer to this, but are we are we we're still feeling the Sunday seven slot? Is that something you feel like you need to change, or well, now that we're here and discussing this? I, I mean, I mean, weekend weekend time slots work for me the best right now. Yeah. Um. I like the con- if, I like the, con- the 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 concept of it being uh, the last like hurrah of your weekend as yeah. like enjoy it and then you got to go to Monday work in the morning you know whatever yeah like See, for those the thing I out. like uh, the thing content wise I've always liked about it is I like it being kind of almost an end cap in a sense yeah. so for the people who are here right it's it's kind of that stamp of like you know I I ended on something cool gear up for the work week you know and for the people who listen to it later i love it as kind of almost a monday morning thing yeah um if if we can get it to be more nice and tight but i've even also kind of enjoyed the the idea of that two-hour format that we kind of almost have consistently had because it means like hey i listen to it in the morning and then i listen to the rest on the way home from work Mm. um but i i love the idea of it being a morning show for somebody that they listen to on their way to work or while they're at work, you know, yeah, Sun Monday, on the, the whole point of this has been to, to not ever have those moments where we, we just don't do the show. And that's uh, that's a uh, dealing with mental issues and, and, and then your own, your normal stress and whatever else that comes along with it. Cause there's all the normal issues and then there's just, there's personality and you can't, you can't ignore yeah. that fact. Like I'll I'll fucking I'll do a show with just me and Curly and I'll be fucking a sad sad bad fucking Freddy, but it's the thought of like oh fuck there's gonna be someone else there yeah. I don't want to fucking bring them down like they, yeah and that the the fear of having a really good guest on a week that you're having a bad time and then that's why there's some of those weeks there it was like so nice to just have like a Nikon or something but then you get to the point where we overuse it because we're just having some you know whatever like yeah. It, it means we don't have to tap that well of, and and I like, I said I love those people, but we don't have to tap that well of Nikon and Bryce and Sunbun and Panda yeah. and like these people who who work well in the format that we have. It, we just don't have to consistently be like, hey, what are you doing? Nothing. All right. Well, this person said they fucking hate us, so you want to fucking come hang out? Like, you yeah. know, like <laughs> that's cool. Uh, so, anyways, yeah. So then, then moving forward. So, so next week, let's say we're gonna do a two two person show, and uh, we'll do uh, we'll do a, the, we'll do the opening pretty much the same way. Uh, a uh, opening videos and whatnot. Maybe we'll try to tool around the idea of, of being more competitive with that competitive news stories uh, for a block, and then B block. I'm gonna come at you with a bunch of different format things that we could fuck around with and see uh, mm-hmm. uh, see if it's gonna be see if any of them then resonate well. Some of them, you know, as the as I said, the concept of Cas versus the audience. Uh, and whatnot. I've got I've got some ideas that I want to that I want. I know I I don't really I can't really articulate because I have them in years long different documents all over the place <laughs> that I need to go dig through and organize and whatnot. So I will I will come to you guys with those for next week and we'll uh, we'll fill out fill it out we'll f- f- feel it out. Yeah, and, uh, brother. 
see how all that goes. I'm not doing a three hour show ever again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Those times. Uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Um, yeah, so so uh, thank you for for joining our town hall. <laughs> Office time. You want a fucking big three cap? His was, brother. <laughs> there were grown men who run Fortune 500 companies sitting at a fucking blackjack table, fucking blowing their whole company salary. And it was great. <laughs> fucking uh, great. <laughs> Yeah, Vegas was a blur of, uh, of fun stuff. We had a lot of we had a lot of, of random fun. Um, I mean, all the, all the bits and stuff are out of my head at this point that we thought about, but uh, we had fun. We we spent a lot of time playing Retro Pie. Yeah. We uh, just stupid. I mean, it's Vegas, so it's just a lot of fucking. Is it five a.m.? I think it's five a.m. Why are we out? <laughs> Why are we out here? It's five in the morning. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> a lot of good times. Curly destroyed a cooler in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh. Fuck, man. Uh, <laughs> I apologize to Curtis. Uh, Cur- Curtis so helpfully. Uh, by the way, uh, the Hotel Plaza doesn't have fridges. Or you can order a fridge. Or you can... Yeah. They have like an Ikea you can go buy a fridge from or something. I've never been in a hotel room without a, at least a cooling uh, area of some kind. You can get ice. That's about it. So uh, Curtis, being super helpful, uh, took his time and went and got like a little uh, styrofoam cooler from... Uh, the Seven Eleven or someplace or whatever CVS or something, and uh, brought it in so we could have. Uh, uh, you know what do they do? Is they wheel a fridge to your room at that point, like a fucking. Uh, like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think like, so. No, I legitimately think they that some a frigid air comes in the fucking <laughs> like. Uh, but so Not yeah, so Curtis, Cur- the first night was great. We had Cur- Curtis had this cooler and we had all the liquor in it and it was all nice and cold because we had all this ice in it, and uh, I don't know, man, I was. I obviously drinking, but I wasn't. It wasn't like it wasn't like a drunken thing. It was a. It was a. I've mentioned I have fucking like random adventure nightmares, not nightmares, but like dreams that are just very adventurous. Sometimes there it's a. I'm fighting yeah. something, or I'm having a battle, or I'm running from something, or whatever. And they're not always crazy dramatic, but sometimes I just I just wake up in a fit. And uh, you have to imagine the scene as Kaz is in his bed, uh, dreaming of dreams, uh, having a good old time. And I'm over in mine, and I don't know. I was on the edge of the bed uh, to begin with, and I came out of a fucking something, and I was hurtling out of my bed like I had, like I had. Because again, you don't. I don't remember the dream. I just remember. I just remember when the consciousness came. I was flying, and like I had jumped off the bed, and uh, I I went dead on like fucking. Uh, uh, yeah. uh What's that? Belly flop out of the bed onto the cooler and just so, and, and here to, to paint this picture right to paint this picture so it's a hotel room there's the two beds there's a nightstand in the middle and then there's that that floor space that mutual space in between the two beds we put the cooler and some other shit down there um and then that was just that space right that that's the the, the no-go zone like we didn't want other people in there because that's where the cooler is that's where that that shit is and we're like great it's good awesome um, and then, and then Curly had his fucking night terror or whatever. <laughs> and just like, all I remember was like, I just sat up, <laughs> I sat up, I look over and Curly's just like, shh, don't worry about it. It's good. <laughs> so, so to, to, to understand my side of it, um, uh, you have to imagine the state that the cooler is in at this point. So it's been a long day of, of drinking. The cooler is is now ju- just a, I don't know, a, a five-gallon container water. of water yeah. and really cold uh, water and ice shards. <laughs> and uh, I belly flopped the fuck out of it. I mean, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I, that's just a fact. I don't know how to explain it. I don't have an excuse for you. But I also, I mean... Uh, you ever just do something weird when you're when you just wake up and you're trying to like you don't you don't we don't want anyone to know or you're trying to explain it there's yeah. nothing i could do the, the 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 cooler was in shards i'm soaked there's water all over the floor and i'm like how do i hide this and i look up and kaz is just fuck is what the fuck and i'm like it's good it's good 
Like, I'm just going to, I'm going to moonwalk out of this and it's going to be fine. But no, and this isn't going to be a story we tell anybody. It's going to be great. We just left it. We just left it on the floor. Until we left. I just left yeah, that no, cooler in pieces. It, there, it, it was just our, like, our quiet moment. Because, like, he was like, Shh, it's okay. And I was like, is that the cooler? <laughs> You're like, yeah. It's like, all right. Because <laughs> I've, I've had, like, I've had, like, walking dreams where I've, like, walked into the wrong room like like i've walked in my roommate's room like two in the morning after going to the bathroom just i've never even been in there like and yeah. just for some reason my brain was just like this is where i'm going now and then i'm like i'm just gonna back out of this room <laughs> like it never happened you know like my bad um but uh yeah no i just murdered that cooler um that was good times uh, yes. i feel really bad I owe, I owe curtis a cooler at this point I mean, I, I went with him to the fucking writing to buy it. It wasn't, oh, yeah. it wasn't that big of a deal. Okay, like, cool. <laughs> but there was that question later. It was like, don't we have a cooler? No. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we never had one. Don't even, let's not even pretend that yeah. it's fine. And then it was gone. God, that hurt too, yeah. man. I was, <laughs> I went, I went, crawled back into bed, just soaking wet. Just going to go right back to sleep. Just dripping did, too. Dripping fucking <laughs> wet. Like. Like you were you were you were mad, but you were just like, I, no, I'm going back to sleep. Like I don't, I'll deal with, I'll deal with this. I'm gonna hold on to this anger. I'm gonna fucking pack it up, and I'm gonna sleep, and then I'll fucking like. It's and that's better. what you did. Like in the next, you were like, I'm fucking wet. The bed is wet now. The fucking floor. It's ah. <laughs> <laughs> good. This is good shit. I love it. I love those moments. Uh, once, once again, the real takeaway of, of DKG Vegas uh, or whatever is 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 you don't want to miss the hangouts. If there's an opportunity when we're doing a hangout, you should show up and have a blast. We have a good time. Uh, it grows the brand. It grows the camaraderie. Uh, it's a fucking hoot. Um, yeah. And we had a, a really fun time with all the Scott Johnson and, and man, everyone was so goddamn. I always forget. I always forget how fucking just genuinely awesome and good dude. Uh, like Tom Merritt and uh, and Brian Ibbett and uh, Scott Johnson are. They were just so heartwarmingly awesome and sweet. Like I mean, we we all like we all give each other gruff and and whatever. But those guys just they're just pure, genuinely awesome, fun, nice, nice yeah. guys. It, I mean, I mean, it was it, it definitely was very nice. Like it definitely was very nice. It was it was it was good. It, and and it it showed that thing that I think we've tried to emulate of of being very aware of your community right like like you can grow a community and have a community and not know shit about your own community and a lot of people do it and have done it and and i think from you and, and from some of those people i've learned like you know kind of just be aware be aware of the people around you fucking be buddy buddy with them get to know them understand them yeah. even if they don't know you like know them a little bit so so like you said, having that, having those little moments of those people who have built communities and they're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, those guys do this. This guy does that. This guy does that thing. Like, it, it's it's very like, like, it's inspiring for me. It's, inspi it's, yeah, inspiring. Yeah. yeah, is the thing I was trying to get to. <laughs> it's what I, I've always I've always tried to emulate in regards to what we do here is is, is make ourselves available and open. Um to anyone that that is that is chilling and willing to hang out and be whatever i'm i'm as i've always mentioned many times i'm terribly uh, uh in, not inspired but uh, awestruck by uh people that care and and want to be part of the show and want to and want to watch the show and and be involved in the chat and all that stuff and like all oh, you motherfuckers right yeah, now. <laughs> it absolutely means the world to me and and so and, yeah. being in a place and an opportunity where you can have people come up to you and be like, "Hey, man, I, you know, I talked to you in the chat. This is my chat handle." And I'm like, "Ah, I love you. Let's go in the pool." <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> I, whack it. I absolutely adore you until you beat me in a video game. Then I get really mad at you. <laughs> I always forget too. It's it'll like a week or two or go by or a month or go by, and I'm like, "Oh my god, whack it! Yeah, fucking come in the game." And then we start playing a game, and I'm like, "Fuck it, whack it! I forgot." He makes everything <laughs> shitty because he kills you over and over again. <laughs> Or outraces you, or whatever. No, I love you, man. You know that. Oh, no, I enjoy, I enjoy a whack it. You know, I enjoy all these people. <laughs> uh, so then, I, I mean, the next meetup is June 9th. We're doing down here with the uh, NSFW kids. For anyone that's coming down, 
uh, for folks in the South, DKG PAX party. DKG's PAX is, or I mean, PAX is just great in general. South, South, PAX South, whatever you want to call it, um, Texas. I got, I got a claim. I got, I'm going to have to like, stake a claim in something East for people. Well, I mean, uh, I still want to do that, but obviously, uh, monetarily wise, things have changed in regards to what I can do, so... Well- so well yeah no but that, I, I feel like that's the thing right like like the stake in the 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 big stake in the claim now is dkg vegas and twitchcon right like those are the two big staples yeah um and then there's pax which is still a big staple but it's it's the kind of the smaller one right because i'm probably very rarely going to go to a pack south um well, you've got, you're, you're losing to leon leon's had more dkg meetups than you have at this point in the east side of the <laughs> I always see Leon hanging out, and, and, uh, and I think Wooterhouse has got lunch with uh, someone recently or something. Somewhere up in there in the east side. Yeah. Yeah, well, east side I'll, 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 I will. I will. I will. As I said, Dra- Dragon Con was ever your thing? That's where everyone's going, right? Yeah. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, I'm trying to do things where I don't have to fly. <laughs> Everything is, like, fly-enabled. Like, and even if I drove, fucking Atlanta is still... Like seven or eight hours and there's just ugh. is boston closer to canada than new york I don't, I don't know anything about the upper areas what's uh what's more north is new york north uh, northern than don't, let me flounder you know this this information you know, keep coming both are five fucking hours ugh. i mean that's not yeah uh yeah yeah well uh i don't sweet. think i had plenty of <laughs> Um, yeah, but th- so, th- so those are all those things. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, that'll be the great thing. It'll, it'll give us more space to talk about things like that. Talk about conventions, talk about yeah. things, things what's, like what, that. What's your, what, what I'm really excited about, especially with it coming up right now is that, um, what I really, uh, I always wanted to do, but didn't necessarily, it didn't ever, it didn't fit or sometimes it didn't fit because we didn't have the right guests or couldn't get the right guests for that day or whatever. But with the whole uh, E3 roundups coming out, like with this retooling of the format, we don't have to worry about trying to pigeonhole into something. If we want to just have an episode where we talk about whatever games come out and bring on some game centric people, we can do an episode of the podcast that's just that and stuff, and not have to be like, well, we 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 totally have this guy, but he doesn't do game stuff. So, you know, like <laughs> I think I had, I think I had Erica once on an episode that we were trying to do a game thing, and she's like, I don't understand any of this. I've never played. She's like, I, I, <laughs> I'm not understanding any of these bits, and I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Um, yeah, whatever though. But it's cool. Uh, so yeah, I think I think we're gonna wrap up this. This uh, this was good. This will go out on the channel as the uh, as the show. Um, so everyone can get their uh, their 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 uh, their input uh, at least. Ahead. If you want to input your information, give me an email. <laughs> at dkgtv.com and uh yeah, especially if you have ideas or bits or or whatever if 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 because they are out there they exist and i want to acknowledge you if you are a very specific podcast listener of this show we would definitely love your two cents on the things you like the things you don't the things you would love to hear uh, the things you want to hear more of, the things you want to hear less of, like so that we can compartmentalize all that and turn it into useful things. If, if you've got crazy we'll ideas, hopefully... yeah, hit me with the crazy yeah. ideas so I can I can see how they can fit and whatnot. We can we could make anything happen yeah. at this point. This is the opportunity to really like put a put a decent spin on the uh, other thing and whatnot. So just no ASMR. <laughs> you suggest ASMR, you getting deleted out of my fave five. <laughs> Just letting you know right now. Have eight, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, it was that T Mobile thing from years ago. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, sweet. So uh, we'll do that. So thanks, guys, for listening and uh, partaking in the chat. And anyone that listens to this later, uh, also, you're lovely. Sorry it wasn't uh, the normal chuckle fuck you're used to, but you're going to get better stuff for it uh, starting with next week. So keep tuning in. Uh, uh, find it on your pod feeds. And uh, install the pod later, and uh, download all of the RAM <laughs> on the podcast. Uh, you guys are lovely. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna go offline, but uh, I am gonna end the show. So.
Just give me a hot moment. What am I doing? We have bumpers for this. Ah, I can end it this way. Fuck, fuck stolen music. I have actually no way to get back to the scene I'd made with the stream deck, so I have to manually...